Hey, what's up everybody? 2023 Toyota Corolla oil change, wiper blades, and how to reset your maintenance light on this 2023 Toyota Corolla, the 2.0. So I got a Corolla, it's a LE, and um, like I said, it's a 2.0, 2023. So let's go ahead and get to it. Um, yeah, you're going to have to need 0W16 oil. I'm going to link parts and tools all down below, but uh, let's get started. So underneath... There's a little um, access panel right here that needs to come off. It's four screws. Uh, they're 10 millimeter. So this will give you access to your oil filter and your oil drain plug. So go ahead and just get these four screws out. And then once these are out, we can go over to your uh, drain plug there. Now actually these are like super near each other, which is nice. Uh, 14 millimeter for the drain plug go ahead and get it loose and then um, once you pull this out of course the oil will come out and you got to put it in a summer container try not to spill it recycle it properly all that now also I highly recommend a new drain plug gasket I'll link one below you could reuse the old one but you run the risk of it dripping and leaking all right go ahead and get that out and then you could kind of pop these old gaskets off they, they could be kind of stubborn to come off and then for the uh, oil filter, I got an oil filter tool right here. And then uh, it goes right on here. And then you put your ratchet on this tool. And then it'll twist and it'll uh, unscrew the filter. You could also use like a band wrench. I'll link one below too. Either tool works. Like a small band wrench. It's, it's like a little circle that goes over that. And then you, you pull it backwards. And then it'll pull it off as well. Both good tools. Go ahead and unscrew this and make sure that the gasket comes off with it. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So go ahead and unscrew this. Uh, oil will come out of course. Uh, definitely have like a catch pan underneath and that's the gasket, that black thing. Make sure that that's off of uh, the mounting spot. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off too just to make sure there's no obstructions on the surface. Here's my new one. This is a Toyota one. Uh, there's the part number. I highly recommend using a OEM one if you can. But uh, if you have to use aftermarket, you know, it is what it is. I just wouldn't get the cheapest one. Got a new drain plug gasket here. Put this on. All right. That's a Toyota one. And we'll go ahead and put this in here. Um, I highly recommend Toyota gaskets and filters. It's just best to keep it OEM. Aftermarket stuff, I don't know. Sometimes it has problems, but... I know uh, Toyota parts aren't accessible at all the time, so you know. All right, I'll get that tight. And then uh, I got a little shop towel. I'm just going to wipe off any excess oil around the drain plug or the oil filter. And then we're going to unscrew this. These oil filter caps can be pretty tight, but I'm going to put it right here where that uh, lock is, the hood lock, so I won't forget it. Go ahead and put a filter, or I mean a funnel in here. And like I said before, it's 0W16 oil. So we'll get that. Uh, I'll link that below. That's like kind of one of the newer oils. It's really thin. And they, they use this oil because it runs um, like VVT solenoids and stuff in the engine. So uh, after we get it filled, it takes around four quarts. Um, I'll say after like the fourth quart, just check the dipstick, see where you're at. It should be between the two dots are like at the top dot so mine was pretty close so I'm gonna go ahead and just start the engine and I'm gonna recheck uh, the reason why I do this is because it'll put oil in the new oil filter and all around the engine and then we could recheck so I started the engine then let it sit for about a minute let the oil return back to the oil pan and then we can see where we're at on the dipstick uh, you pull it out you wipe it off and then you put it back in and pull it back out and that should give you a clear reading. So put this back in. Just what I like to do is just go in fast and then pull it out fast. Uh, new oil can be kind of hard to see because it should be clear. But as you can see, it's right at that second dot. That's perfect. Um, and then I highly recommend just using the 0W16 oil vis viscosity. I got another vi video for the engine air filter and cabin filter. Um, I'll link that below too. But uh, let's go ahead and move to the wiper blades, and then I'll show you how to do the, the oil light reset. So it's 14 and 28 is the size. 
And then to get these off, there's like a little locking tab. All you do is you take a flathead, maybe something like a little bigger than what I got, but you just pop this tab upwards. Be careful not to hit your windshield. And then uh, once that is up, we're gonna grab the wiper blade and you're gonna slide it downwards. It helps with the M2 hands. I just have one hand on the camera, but you slide it downwards and then you remove the arm just straight up. And then uh, this will come off. So like you go downwards and then you just kind of get this uh, wiper arm out. The wiper arm is like a hook on the end of it, so it'll just want to it'll want to hook the uh, the wiper blade. But if you do it with two hands, it's a lot easier. So put our new one on. This is a 14 millimeter. Take this little white cover off if yours has one or any kind of protector on the blade. And then uh, we'll, we're going to have to lift this locking tab up. So open that up and then we'll go to the wiper arm. Uh, I also like to match up the size, make sure it's correct. And go ahead and put this uh, wiper arm just straight in. And then once you go straight down, it should just kind of drop in and then you'll pull it towards yourself and then it'll it'll lock into the hook and then you can shut the locking tab and that's how you do it it's pretty simple um if you if you don't really ever do these it could be kind of like tough so don't you know don't worry if it's giving you a hard time but these are actually very simple wiper blades for cars in general toyota tries to simplify it as much as possible which i which i uh, like okay I'll do this for this one do not let the wiper arms uh like fall down and hit your windshield because it'll crack it you gotta be uh, really cautious. I'm gonna match up this one, it looks right. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this locking tab up and then come over here to the wiper arm. And just drop it in. And uh, then we'll, this one you, you slide it uh, towards the passenger side to lock it in. And um, there you go. We got that in so if I, if I could do it with one hand you guys should be able to do it with two hands but that's how you do your wiper blades and that's it all right everyone I'm gonna show you to do maintenance light rem uh, reminder reset on a 2023 Toyota Corolla we're gonna be using these arrows right here and the okay button and maybe this back button so let's go ahead and get a closer look at the dash okay so using the arrows button hit right arrow Okay, actually, we'll hit back to go to the menu, and then we're going to go hit the right arrow to go over to the gear. We're going to go down to vehicle settings. Hit OK, or hold OK. All right, and then we'll go to scheduled maintenance. Push OK and hold it. Go up to re push up to go to reset data. Push and hold it. Kind of takes a second. Yes. Okay. Might have to hit OK a couple times. It says reset complete. All right, guys. That's all the information I got for you. The rest of the video is just a couple products and other stuff I got going on. Totally up to you if you want to stick around. I got a 15% off promo code for Oxido LED headlights. These are the best headlights in my opinion. They just recently upgraded all their technology, so their LED lights are even brighter than the others that are still using old tech. Um, I've had many LED lights uh, as far as like headlights interior lights whatever brake lights and these are the best they don't flicker they're not cheap they don't like go out on you um, all you gotta do is go to the oxido website type in your vehicle information then look up what kind of light you want all their products will pop up and uh, these are available on amazon as well but if you go to the website and use guillermo auto in the in the truck in the discount code spot you will get 15 percent off so if you're looking for a new brighter upgrades check these out Hey, what's up guys? I want to tell you about Quantum Soap. It's a new men's soap company. They got many, many different bars of soap, each with their own ingredients and fragrance and texture. They even have grittier bars for like mechanics or whoever, like the dark matter bars, extra gritty. Um, if you go to their website, it's free shipping over $50. Each bar is about $5. You also get a 10% discount code for your first order. Um, they're coming out with many new soaps. It's definitely worth checking out. Of course, I have a discount code for you. It's uh, Guillermo Auto. If you type it in at checkout, you'll get 10% off. You could use it as many times as you want every time you order. These make great gifts to uh, husbands, boyfriends, uncles, nephews. Uh, they even got the Galactic Mechanic Bar. It's super gritty for mechanics, so check that out. 
type in the Guillermo Auto promo code. That way they know you're one of the homies. And uh, that's it, guys.